after concentration we have got now concentration gives us the pure o now what do we need to, with, to do with the pure pure o you need to get the metal from the compound i am not talking about gold silver because after concentration of gold silver you will get gold and silver only but like zinc carbonate sodium chloride you need to get the pure metal out of the pure ore so in this case what happens is that we need to separate the metals into three groups metals of low reactivity metals of medium reactivity and metals of high reactivity so in this case you will get copper mercury in this you will get zinc mostly and in this case you will get aluminium sodium potassium etc so if somebody asks you that what type of uh, reactivity does suppose mercury have so what what is uh, mercury grouped under metal it is a is it a metal of low reactivity medium reactivity or high reactivity while extract okay this question can be formed like while extraction what would you group mercury into that is low reactivity medium reactivity or high reactivity so the obvious answer is low reactivity why we are seeing this is that generally the metals of low reactivity have a common technique of separation of extraction metals of medium reactivity have a common technique of extraction and metals of high reactivity have a common technique of extraction so because actually metals of high reactivity they will not want to get separated and formed as the pure metal so it is very difficult to separate them using the techniques of metal uh, extracting metals with low reactivity or medium reactivity so that is why all the three have different methods so first we'll come to metals of low reactivity in this you have copper and mercury now since they have low reactivity they decompose you have uh, basically you are you find these compounds as co2s and hgs both are sulfides their ores are sulfides so these are very weak sulfides i mean just by heating you can get the oxide the thing is that they just decompose on heating what you do is that you take this just heat it in the presence of oxygen or you should write oxygen over here only and you get hgo 
plus SO2. So you balance this, you get Plus four, six. So I think this is balanced. Okay. Yeah. Now you take this HGO and again heat it, and you will get pure HG and O two. Just simple reaction. First, you heat it with oxygen and you will get sulfur dioxide gas and the oxide. Now, generally the oxide is easier, it is, it is easier to obtain the metal from the oxide rather than sulfides. So, we first convert it to the oxide and then the oxide is heated again to give Hg. So, Hg is obtained very simply by just heating. And Similarly with copper sulfide, so you might get questions like um, X is heated, X is an ore and it is heated to get Y and Y is the pure metal. So what is X? So it can be HGS because this is by just heating you are getting the pure metal from the ore. And of course in, in these type of questions you have to give the reactions involved. Very important. Otherwise you might lose all the marks in the question if you don't give the reaction. So these two reactions are compulsive. Wherever if they don't ask for reaction also but there is a hint of reaction in the question, you should give the reaction. And if they ask, then you definitely should give the reaction. And similarly for Cu2S, this is slightly different. This is heated to give Cu2O plus SO2. So, we balance, I, it's, no, no, it's not balanced. So, this, yeah, 2 plus 4, 6, 3. Okay. Now it's balanced. And then, you take this CO2O and of course there is heat and you react this with this CO2S and heat it and you get Cu plus again SO2. Six. So slightly different reaction in this first you get CO2O and SO2 and then you heat it with the ore itself you heat the oxide with the ore itself and you get the pure metal and again the same gas is evolved so you might be asked questions like X on heating gives Y and Y on heating with X gives Z and there is a gas G involved in both the reactions and you are given that X is an ore and Z is the pure metal. So now you know because you have just seen the reaction and now I am asking but when you just get a random question like this. Just try to imagine that an ore, you don't have anything added to it. It's just pure heating and then you're getting the pure metal.
two reactions you are getting the pure metal so this has to be a metal of low reactivity like copper or hg but in hg's reaction you might you might have noticed that in the first reaction so2 gas is involved but in the second reaction o2 gas is involved evolved so these two gases cannot be same in case of hg and also in hg you directly heat it you don't put x again in over here, over here you don't have hgo plus hgs but in case of copper now this is cancelled so only copper remains so in case of copper you will see that this equation is satisfying because copper sulfide will give you copper oxide and so2 gas and copper oxide again heated with copper sulfide will give you copper and again so2 gas so these x y z questions you just try to get go step by step like get a group of things then try to eliminate one by one so you got copper and mercury because the ore was giving a pure metal just by heating and then you saw that in mercury's reaction the gas evolved is not the same and also there is no the ore is not again added to this y so the remaining will be copper and then the what the remaining is we try to fit it in the equation